So I spent a little time while I was editing another video, um, just letting the ducks do their thing, get some resources going, get some training in, you know, ducks training each other. I don't know why table sat over here, a little depressing, but yeah, so they got some good resources. We got a whole bunch of wood. Um, how do we see our resources? I wonder. We are all caught up even though we have alerts. That's good to know. <laughs> yeah, so we got a whole bunch of... Got a ton of feathers, ton of flowers. Looking pretty good. Let's do some training. I think it's about time we... We didn't do a whole lot of swimming training. I was kind of tired of training when we got to it last time. So let's do a little bit of that. We'll just cook it on through here. And now I'm curious what the different levels are for swimming, right? Because the running has the three different stages and you can unlock them as you get better at the earlier ones. And just a reminder, these these little spiky homies here are, are mines and they will ruin your heckin' day if you touch them. We got to avoid those at all costs. I think the boats are just kind of... Just obstacles of the normal variety. You know, you can you can touch them and they'll just kind of like push you back. They won't literally blow you up. Ah, oh, dude. We gotta... <laughs> the, the comeback of the ghost controller. Keeps doing its whole, you know, ghosty controller things, vibrating every time I, I die. Just to make you feel bad, you know? So one of the big benefits here in Duck Life 9 that they've implemented is, we saw it a little earlier, the concept of training your other ducks with your leveled ducks. Can I squeeze through here? Yes, sir. So if we can, if we can get Walter really high leveled, which I think his ranking of A in swimming expedites the process, I wanna say. But if we can do that, then Walter is in turn gonna train Table and the other duck whose name I forget um, while we're doing other stuff. So you know, you kinda, you get these continuous rewards even after you're done training. It would kinda suck a little bit if you had to train every duck individually for every single, oh man, for every single like training type, that would that'd be a little tough, a little tricky. So I'm glad it's not like that. I think it's a great way to structure the progress of the game. And that's some training done here. Let's head on out. I think it's about time. Let's go back to the spring meadows, see what's up. We need to find a race ticket, a tournament ticket, whatever it's called. So we can start racing. That would be huge. And I also realized in editing that you can walk around with Waz. Only in this world though. So that's kind of cool. Um, so I think we can swim now. We can talk to the ostrich. Sorry, peacock. <laughs> My bad. Hello, peacock. So we can get some clothes. Might as well get our homies looking, looking fly. Let me join your flock. Alright, sure. I didn't know you were going to, like, join us. Ah, uh, okay. So it's not actually going to be a playable duck, it sounds like. Wait, Percy the penguin? That's not you, you were a peacock. Why did Percy the penguin join us? I'm confused. Um, but yeah, so... He's, I think he's just going to be in our flock area and give us the ability to get a few different, you know, costumes and whatever. I'm training hard to become the best racer around. I had like a Pokemon vibe. I feel like I'm talking to Ash Ketchum. <laughs> Lost my last 10 races. I mean, part of me feels like this guy's sharking me, but I'll check it out. See what he's got for us, Coco. Oh dude, we're gonna smoke this, homie. That's how it goes. <laughs> Level 34 runner insane oh yes i gotta remember here move down so we can see the energy don't want to forget looking good i mean we don't really need to use our little cheer but we'll use it once i don't want to get to the point where we run out of energy and then it's just unfortunate lose an easy race that way 
Mm, if we see the goal, I'll do it again. I'm not sure. Oh, Walter, you are so slow. What is going on? There it is. Go, 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 go. All right, cool. Gotten a little close, but really not that close. We didn't have to cheer if we didn't want to. And we get a first place. Look at this. What do we get here? So I'm curious if now Coco is going to want to join our flock. If it's like every time you beat somebody, they ask to join. And if so, is there any downside to having a bunch of ducks? Okay, yeah, so he's a new recruit now. Interesting. Another loss for me. Yeah, you make me really want to get... Really want to get you on my team, huh? <laughs> That's Coco math right there. Brad the bird is overrated. Facts. <laughs> he just is that sweet. Walter's a savage. He doesn't give a heck. Dude, that's gotta be my biggest pet peeve. You're like talking to somebody and they just doze off. Like couldn't care less. Even when they're in the middle of their own conversation. Dude, it's annoying. You want an autograph? How about you uh, just teach us how to fly? <laughs> Oh, it's too small. Okay, okay. So I guess we do need to bring up some more ducks here. Is that a cinematic shot we were about to get? No. It kind of looked like it for a second. Okay, so we need to find another duck we can train with. Who are you? You got a red exclamation mark. Yep, I got you. I don't know who Mike is. Ooh. Eat this in a race to increase energy. Interesting. Cool. Okay. A little trump card of sorts. Not too bad. So we need to find another duck to race, is what I'm gathering. You're not gonna race. You're not gonna race. Who else can we race? We already raced you. I guess this hippie duck, Percy. We'll check it out. Yeah, it's annoying. Sure, sure. <laughs> Do you want to race, maybe? Fast in the water. You're talking to the water racing legend right now. Walter's gonna school you, Erica. Oh, we're actually tied. <laughs> Just kidding. Apparently we need to get some more water training for Walter. Okay, well at least our running is like way strong. So we'll trump him in running at the very minimum. Dig in the sound. <laughs> the music. Intense race music. Yeah, let's do a little cheer. Why not? The one thing I wish, I think I said it last time, I, I want a map. I want to know how close we are so I can gauge the cheering better. Because it's kind of just a toss up. If I cheer here and the goal isn't right, right over here, I'm cooked. But we're good. We got there. That one was actually very close. I think you just straight up lose if you run out of energy. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. So we gotta make sure we don't do that. All right, what do we got in store? Probably some more seeds if I had to guess. Oh, some root stew. That's not too bad. Quickly travel to different locations. Okay. So now we got these two homies. You're an awesome swimmer. Thanks. Um, let's just, let's just head on out here. <laughs> I don't really... Oh, we gotta be able to fly? Okay. Alright, well I think we've gotten all we need from here. Let's, let's switch on back. Um, actually just kidding. We want to go to the flock. I just realized how many worlds there are left open. That's kind of insane. Alright, so what I'm gathering is we need to get some houses. Though it is nighttime, so they're all sleeping. We'll give them a sec, let them sleep. Costume shop we can build. 
And we got plenty of resources. We got 110 wood. What the heck? I told you, I just let it cook for a little while and it, it helped out a lot. Alright, so I think we still do the fend off bears technique here. We're gonna... We gotta restructure a little bit. Maybe we make over here... Actually, no, let's do this. Oh my lord, should we have so much room over here? Like, what if we do something like this? Where we bring all of our farming across the water. Right, so you do a little bit of this. Maybe we need to get some more farming patches too. While they're all sleeping, I'll structure everything. That way we can, we'll be ready when they're ready, you know? It'd be nice if we could mass build these things, but that's quite all right. Hopefully they just get the gist of what we're doing and start constructing. Okay, yeah, we got one on the way. Fantastic. Here, and then, so we'll just start with six, I think. I'm um, just kidding, we'll start with five. <laughs> I think that'll be plenty. And then let's make sure we have all of the seeds in here. Yeah, okay. We didn't have enough seeds for them to use. That would have been an issue. Okay, so let's go... Let's move you over here, and we'll just get a whole bunch of these... A bunch of these houses built. One more should do it. Again, fending off the bears in the forest. This is our front line of defense. I guess we should probably move the flower patch over here too. It's like farming adjacent, right? Make this area smell a little nicer too, right? <laughs> All right, let's recruit. So it sounds like you want to recruit everybody you find. This is our jumping pet, okay. Coco's very good at jumping. See, he just didn't have his right spot, you know. Everyone's good at something, they're just not... They might not know it yet. Balancing and swimming, interesting. I'm curious what the balancing minigame is going to look like. I think it's either going to be super hard or extremely easy. <laughs> One of the two. Alright, what do you have to say here? Grew to three ducks, get some feathers, sure. Makes sense. And then, so we need to get some energy. I was thinking we're a little low on energy. Costume shop as well. Can I stick you? I don't want to block the trees, really. Tell you what, let's go... Move the trees. Kind of like next to the, the riverbank a little bit. And then we'll put the costume shop tucked in the back here. Maybe. Yeah, it's close enough. Penelope the peacock has joined the flock. Look at that. Alright, so now all these ducks are just putting in work. Um, let's even out the farming patch. That's going to bother me. <laughs> now that we have enough feathers, let's get the sixth one. Oh, you can just click the little build thing down here. That's very nice. This is the thing. A lot of these quality of life things are just so nice. And maybe one more tree. I'm wondering if maybe we should have the trees up here. I mean, it, it fits more over here, right? Sorry, I know you're chopping this thing, but <laughs> we're going to have to move it. I like how the construction of a tree has this little sign here. Oh, no, don't do that. And we're missing coins. Oh, okay. That's a big one. Okay, so once we get some more feathers, I think we'll start doing some paths. Spruce up the place a little, you know. Oh, what is this? Gold? Need gold for our golden hatchet? Okay. Already have those. Okay. I think we're in a good spot right now. I think our flock is 
If I can zoom out a little, that's very nice. I think our flock is doing all right. Um, let's actually go back while they're all doing their flock things. Let's go talk to this homie. See if we can have him train us how to fly. Oh, we can get a few coins here. Don't mind if I do. Anything mind the waterfall? No. You gotta check. You always gotta check. Alright. Train me, Brad. What do we got? Yeah, we do have a big flock. You're right. And there it is. Alright. Now we have to go back to the flock. The duck is tired, you can sleep. So here's my concern right now, okay? Looking at our flock homies, we don't have anybody who is really good at flying. The closest we've got is Coco, who's B, which is probably still gonna be good enough. I think we probably run Coco here. But if we can find an A or even if there's an S tier, that'd be pretty cool. Okay, so I can't help but notice our flying is underwater. That's a little weird, <laughs> but we'll check it out. See what's in store here. Okay, I see. So you can only flap and then aim. I got you. Uh, this is really funky. <laughs> oh, you can hold it. Okay. <laughs> I thought I was supposed to be doing some, some weird, like, spam flap kind of vibe. Well, it's nice to have that little tutorial. Show you how this works. Oh, so you just have to keep jumping into cannons? I see. It's like a series of levels, and the arrow shows you where you have to go. Oh, this ain't too bad. Okay. And we got a duck root seed. Look at this. Oh gosh, now we have to go this way. I could definitely see how this one's gonna get really tricky. <laughs> You're turning too fast. How the heck am I supposed to go just straight? Okay. He really turns like on a dime. Holy Christmas, dude, this is tricky. Whatever happened to the Duck Life minigames being easy? Okay. If it's a slow gradient descent, not a problem. Anything ascending <laughs> seems to be a little tricky. You start doing this thing. But now we're good, okay. I'm curious how stringent the location has to be getting into these cannons. If I like hit the side of the cannon, do I just kind of, yeah, you're close enough? <laughs> Probably not. I do like that it aims the cannon toward you. Much harder to screw up. Alright, nice and easy. Just take it chill. We're getting into the harder levels, so we gotta, gotta play really cautious. Okay. Almost just slammed into the ground. I guess we're not actually underwater, even though it kind of looks like it when the background is blue. It's actually more of a, I don't know, snow vibe, I guess. I think that's what they're getting at. Please. All right. I think we're getting the hang of it. Start out a training montage. I think they have to be like nuking your flying ability <laughs> as you go. 
Because I feel like I had no lift whatsoever there. But we got some vertical levels added. I feel like that was a pretty good run. For the first time, that wasn't too bad. And now Walter. Did we want to be training on Walter? I thought we were supposed to be with Coco. Is Walter just our... <laughs> Okay, well, Walter is going to have to train Coco. Uh, apparently, I was still on Walter. I didn't realize this whole time. Can I tell him to train Coco, I wonder? Yeah, why are you training running, though? Okay, just have him, like, chill for a little bit. Um, Once he gets running up, I guess, we'll... Yeah, now we're doing flying. Okay. Okay, well that works. We're getting some more wood going. Let's zoom out, see how we're doing. Um, let's see, anything we want to grab here? We have a lot of feathers now, we could do a little path going on. I think I'm feeling the cobblestone path. Um, so we can't do any right here, but we could do... This is going to be like our little hub. Can't afford it. That's fair. <laughs> Apparently they cost a lot. We're hungry and have no food to eat. Oh no. Alright, we need to cook something up. What do we have? What can we cook? Hold on. What ingredients do we have? Okay, we have duck root. Seed spice, runt, and whelp. That's what we have to work with. What can we cook with that? Duck root, duck root, and seed spice. We need to find these flowers. I don't know where we get the flowers from. Three seed spice, one duck root. Or you can do one and one. Alright, let's try it. We'll make one of each. Add one of you, add one of you. What are we going to get? Spicy roots do, okay. Oh my lord, table needs some food stat. Alright, now let's do the three seed spice, one duck root. What does that give us? Tacos? Heck yeah, dude. Okay, well you need food the most, so we'll grab you. I'm curious, if you just do like, some garbage and throw it together, does it just make garbage? Yes. <laughs> I guess it's not technically garbage, but it sure looks like it. Um, feed it to... We'll go Gareth. And then let's go... He'll do the one in one. What if we do... I think we'll make five of them. Vegetable medley. It does not make five of them. That's important to know. You have to do it each one by one. Three and one. I think this is one, right? This is a this is a food. No, this is just a medley. Just kidding. Who else needs food? Just Gareth and Table. We'll do one more for Gareth. And then we'll do the one. I think it was one and three here. That was our other recipe. Yeah, okay. That's supposed to go to table. Alright, hold on. <laughs> One more. And then we should be good. Cool. Alright, so everyone's hunger is good now. Crisis averted. No, nobody's going hungry today. What do you got here? Some tacos? There's a specific... Achievement for that one. Nice. Okay, so we have to buy some clothing. Reach at 10 energy. Alright, let's get some clothing. Hmm, this one immediately pops out. I kind of like the aviator look of this one. Oh, it gives you stats too. That's interesting. Well, unfortunately, we spent all of our money on stones. 
our cobblestone path. But I don't think that's going to cut it. But I think we can afford to do a little racing, maybe. Look at all these locations you can unlock. That's insane. Okay. Um, let's see. So we're missing two races, four go gold items, and then just like looking around, I guess, unlocking stuff. Well, now we can fly, so we can go over to that other area that we're looking for. Oh, dude, he's flying now. Look at that. <laughs> and literally. Yeah, let's fly over here. What do you got for us? Oh. <laughs> Ooh, okay. What are you here for? Ah, uh, I see. The classic. Lily has it on her arm. Alright, so we gotta... We gotta connect him up. Yeah, he likes you. Don't worry. Oh. Am I supposed to, like, lose the race? I'm gonna feel bad if we just school this, this homie in front of her love. Alright, we'll just say we don't cheer on. But I have a feeling we're gonna win anyways. Maybe it'll be more of like, he'll console her after she loses, you know? Cause yeah, this is not gonna go well for her. Okay, a little launching point, get the swimming going. This is your sweet spot here, Walter. I like how Walter has just become our, our go-to duck. Our main man, you know? I don't even know why. He was good at swimming and I guess that's all we needed. Let's speed this up a little bit. I'll look at him go. He's cooking. He's ready. He's thirsty for victory. Hungry for the win. And I guess this part is like climbing or something. I don't know why he goes so slow there in the transition. And we do this. All right. Please tell me you don't have to wait. Okay. And we win. Love to see it. Get a few prizes. What do we got in store today? I don't know what a jelly coin is, but I'm interested. No hovering. We'll have to see later. Okay. What's going on here? Went down a little bit. I don't think that's true. Yeah, okay, I'll talk to him. Alright, wrap it up here. Alright, talk to this guy. Oh, how nice. I think it might be. Okay, so he said he was going to lose from the get-go. That's kind of weird. He's just like, hey, school me, and then I can be with my true love. <laughs> like, what? I guess. Sure, I'll take it. If it means I get the treasure chest, why not? Alright, so we don't want to cheer during the transitions, it seems. Because for some reason that just is automatically super slow. Dude, he's four meters back. This guy's getting smonked. Or maybe we do want to cheer during the transition. If it goes quicker. Do one more cheer. Alright, we'll do two more. <laughs> Just get through it. Alright, cool. All of our training is paying off. some food and some more jelly coins. I don't know what those do. I don't know if you can eat them or... I don't know what's going on with that. But we do get a treasure chest here. Under your beak the whole time. Look at that. 
<laughs> so invested in this whole story, even though we just met the both of them. And we get the tournament ticket. Alright, cool. Let's get out of this little area. And then we can fly here. Yes, sir. What do you have to say? Quackbeard's Cove. Let's see if we can cut him. <laughs> or maybe a knife. Alright. We gotta find a knife. Uh, okay. Alright, I get it. I get what we're going for here. Gotta go win the tournament and then we... Hold on. Get these coins over here. Because I doubt we'll be back. We already went over here, so I think we're good there. It's a little jarring all this the camera panning and whatnot. Okay. I mean let's just full send it, right? Let's get into this tournament building. Three races, you have to enter three different ducks. Interesting. So we'll go qualifiers here. Okay, so we need running, swimming, flying. Well, Coco would be our flying homie. Which actually, he's almost higher level. That's kind of sad. Almost higher stats in flying compared to Walter, just because he's so much higher leveled. And then we can go table for one, and then I think Walter is our go-to for race three. Fluffy adventure sounds great. It has nothing to do with the ducks, but sure. Spring Meadows tournament. Brad the bird. Oh, we're gonna fight him. We're gonna race against our trainers. No, he's just training us. Apparently, that's news now. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so about that, There's, their levels are way higher than Coco. Give him a little cheering. Hopefully we can get through this. To be fair, he has a lot of energy, so maybe we'll have enough to get through it. Yeah, so they all do this weird little, like, jump thing before they actually start going. Okay, so they were, like, 30 levels higher than us, but for some reason they're just, like, slow. This guy's stuck. He's just straight up can't get out of the water. Okay, I mean, I'll take it. Wait, this race is really long. Are we gonna run out of energy? We might have to eat an apple. Oh, this is a very long race. Please tell me this is the end. We have one more apple. Oh no. We'll eat our last apple here. I guess we're, we might see what happens when we run out of energy. Dude, come on, how long is this race? Oh, please don't tell me. Okay, you just go slow. You don't automatically lose. Yikes, okay. Well, that's good to know. We got the dub, but geez, that was close. Um, again, very high leveled competition. I'm not gonna cheer, because apparently we need all the energy saved. This guy is running in the water. That's kind of weird. <laughs> I don't know. This guy is from Naruto. He's running on water. Okay, so we're in second. Not ideal. Oh, just kidding. We're rounding the curve. Taking the inside line, I like it. It's all gonna come down to the running, I think. Which we're, we're pretty good running here. Yeah, okay, we're, we're breaking out ahead. We cannot afford to cheer. We simply do not have the energy to do so. 
flying is leaving a little bit to be desired. I've left others in their wake. Look at that. Oh, here we go. Looks like we can cheer. All right. I thought we were going to have to train a lot more after seeing the competition levels, but and we're actually doing okay. Now Walter's the highest level of them all, so he should be fine, question mark. Unless there's some inverse correlation that we're not seeing. Okay, we don't have anybody running on water this race. No Naruto ninjas here. Interesting how Walter isn't pacing ahead of these guys in the water as much. He's got some insane water swimming. But yeah, we're just cooking. Going right through it. This one shouldn't have any flying. This was just a running and swimming race. Percy the Penguin is coaching Walter, that's true. I wonder why his Fruit Flop's name is sticking out the top here. Oh, just kidding, it's not anymore. Okay, dude, we're golden. Unless it goes much longer and we run out of energy, then we might be in trouble. Come on, Walter. Okay, here we go, we're good. Alright, clean sweep. Love to see it. I mean, that was, it looked like a tough competition there, but it was actually perfectly fine. Wasn't bad at all. So now we have a championship race. Yeah, okay. The Duck News Network. Just gassing us up over here. Now what do we get here? Three jelly coins and a whistle? Dude. Don't even care about the hundred coins. So I'm guessing Brad is going to be the champion race. I guess we'll see. Just kidding. This is the ninja duck. Henzing. Sorry, explorer duck. He's not a ninja. Even though he kind of looks like one. Okay, what are we working against here? We beat him in running, lose in swimming. Slightly lose in flying. This guy somehow has stats in these three, which we don't have. Our energy might get the better of us. Would anyone be better here? It's a flying, swimming, running race. That's good to know. Hmm. Nobody's even really close. Except for Coco from flying. But Coco is worse and everything. Okay. Walter's up. Walter's the main duck. See if you can get it. Oh, this is the most even match we've got so far. Alright. We learned our lesson. We're not going to cheer unless we need to. We're slightly breaking away. This is the part I'm worried about. Because Walter is just absolutely garbage at flying. But he's holding his own. I don't think he's gaining on us too much. And we splash down and now we're swimming. The end? No. This is the end over here. Okay. We should have enough energy. But really, it's just a matter of the last leg here. I don't know if the other ducks... <laughs> look at the little feet going. I don't know if the other ducks can cheer or not. They might not have cheer people. Oh, it's going to be a little tight. Nah, I think we're good. We've got a good bit of a breakaway. I don't think we're worried. I think. Come on. The energy's looking a little dicey. No. 
I couldn't gauge how slow you go when you run out of energy. This is pretty darn slow. Oh, come on. I feel like I'm watching cars. That race in the beginning where he wins with his tongue. That's what this is right now. Okay, we're good, we're good. Jeez Louise, that was... That was a little too close for comfort. After having squandered our apples so early. Could have been dicey. We're good. We beat the first area. The magic droplet. I don't know what that does. <laughs> I genuinely have no idea what that does. Okay, way to go, Walter. Wait, so is he able to join us? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> that is awesome. We get the explorer duck on our side. Well, with his knife, of course. You big goofball. <laughs> I love the cinematics, they're great. Alright, we'll just take a look. I think we're gonna call it here for the episode, but just take a quick little sneak peek at what we got in store. See how they structure these levels. Okay, grab a few coins. Okay, cool. Looks like there's just a whole bunch more ducks. Probably some more racing to be had. We can talk to this homie here in a second, but I think we're in a good spot to call it. That was a good one. We got through the first the first uh, world, I guess you could call it, first area. Flying colors absolutely demolished everybody. Um, we did train Walter on flying instead of Coco, so we're going to have to have Walter train up Coco a little more back at the flock, but aside from that, man, we're we're doing it. We're cooking. Love to see it. Hope you're enjoying. If you are, drop a comment. Let me know. Let me know what you want to see. And we will be back with some more duck life here in a little bit. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good one.